International tourism arrivals are set to stagnate this year, except for some Western markets, causing up to $2.4 trillion in further global losses in the sector, not expected to rebound fully until 2023. The UN, a UN study said on Wednesday that COVID-19 vaccinations and certificates were key to restoring confidence in foreign tourism, which provided a lifeline to many countries, especially jobs in small island states. Sandra Cavao, Chief of Market Intelligence at the UNWTO, said it would be a very diverse recovery, varying by country and by region. We are currently uh, in international tourism, we are at levels of 30 years ago. So basically, we are in, uh, uh, in the years 80s, so not, not much crowd. The, um, the problem that we are mainly facing is that um, many livelihoods are really at, at threat. And I will pick it up from the policy recommendations. We have lost 1 billion travelers, so 1 billion opportunities for people to build livelihoods, especially in developing countries. That uh, the decline in GDP is again quite dramatic. Uh, so we find here under the pessimistic scenario that the loss uh, could be again in 2021 a 2.4 trillion um, for, of global GDP. Um, in the optimistic scenario, that's, that's a bit better. It's a loss of uh, 1.7 trillion US dollar. And uh, in the scenario with different speeds, the decline is similar to the optimistic scenario. It's 1.8 trillion US dollar. The vaccination um, rollout in Europe is quite advanced when we compare it to other regions. Uh, the same will probably occur in, in the U.S., um, but we will definitely see domestic tourism recovering first. We're already seeing, in some cases, the demand uh, for domestic almost at the levels of um, of 2019. Um, and, uh, of course, this is a big challenge for those countries who depend on international tourism. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.